Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadal Kozak uh, and if you're new here, uh, I do encourage you uh, to please subscribe so that you don't miss when I upload new videos. Uh, on today's video, I'm going to show you our pantry makeover. Uh, this makeover has been a long time coming. I had promised you a couple of months ago that while we are doing a renovation around the house, uh, the pantry will be one of them. I had not shared with you my pantry because it is actually, it was a messy pantry. So you will see how it actually was before and how it has actually turned out. And I hope after watching the end of this video, you will be, ins be inspired either to do a renovation or to do an upgrade or just to do just um, some basic um, changes in your pantry so that it will become like mine now. It's functional, it's easy, it's airy and it is serving you well as it should. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into the video and see how we did and I hope you're going to enjoy and please remember to like, uh, comment, uh, subscribe and share with your friends so we keep this uh, channel going and thank you very much for watching. So as you can see guys, uh, this is before, this is how my pantry uh, was looking it is a pretty mess uh, probably um, I wouldn't call it quite a pantry because it's just where we were storing everything and anything that uh, we didn't want and we didn't know where to put it uh, so like the suitcases uh, whatever was left uh, the, rep the wraps for Christmas or birthday presents uh, Pretty much everything, a, a lot of um, food stuff not being put away in containers, so everything was just being thrown about everywhere. Now with the pantry empty, uh, you can see uh, the state of the floor and the walls. Um, this pantry has not been touched in the last four years we've been living here. It was painted before uh, and we haven't really done any work on it uh, ever since. So um, another thing that was not available is there wasn't any lighting and my husband has managed to uh, put some wiring and we will be putting uh, light so at least that is a big change that is going to be happening uh, as you can see on the walls they were quite um, damp uh, a little bit damp on the sides because obviously uh, the pantry over the winter can usually usually can get quite uh, cold because there is no heating element on on um, the walls and um, yeah uh, this is how um, we are going to just walk through and make sure that it is going to be a room um, that will work for us in a long time for a long time uh, as you can see my husband has already done the floor he's um, actually uh, put in some concrete floor uh, to level the floor so that uh, you're not stepping into a dip and after that <clears throat> we will be using the same tiles that were actually left over from our bathroom and toilet renovation so that will be saving on our part we don't have to use any we don't have to buy any materials we are just uh, reusing whatever was left over 
uh, from our bathroom upgrade. Um, and with the walls, he has managed to also use some um, boards and uh, the room is now looking um, better, far much better than it was before. The tiles are already in and as you can see um, they are the same uh, kind of tiles that are in the corridor and in the bathrooms and uh, because they've served as well uh, that's why we decided to continue the theme from the corridor and the toilets uh, into the pantry and because uh, in the kitchen floor we are going to put um, luxurious uh, veneer um, on the floor we did not want it to be a continuous uh, we wanted to uh, make that separation between the pantry floor and the kitchen floor uh, which is actually uh, the next project so that we finish up our kitchen renovation which uh, I am yet to finish the last uh, part of our uh, kitchen renovations as you can see, everything is all done now. Uh, the walls are painted. Uh, and because um, the, there is the water pipe uh, that is passing through the pantry, that one we could not get rid of because that supplies water into the, um, the toilet and the bathroom. So it had to stay. Uh, as you can see, we have put in a new shelving. These are wooden shelving. We painted them white. The original um, color is just plain wood. And uh, we bought these ones from B&Q. My husband reduced the size actually so that uh, they would fit into the pantry well and we would be having enough space to actually walk into the pantry because we are putting uh, three of these shelvings and uh, I am more than happy to um, have three because I will be having more than enough space so these are the original uh, look of the shelves and as you can see my husband uh, painted them through so in that way even it makes the pantry look bigger than it actually is so if you're looking for ideas I think white is a safe color to go with um, when you are having small places because it has uh, a tendency to actually make you think that the room or the space you're using is bigger than it actually is.
with all now uh, the three shelves in and uh, I am just um, trying to just figure out how the pantry will actually look like this is not the final look uh, this is just a trial and error until I know exactly where everything will be but meanwhile this is uh, how the pantry has turned out and the shelvings are absolutely fabulous because they are not too big neither are they too small they are just fitting exactly as I want them to and there is enough spacing to actually put my ironing board and to hang my vacuum cleaner um, tube so uh, there is going to be plenty of space unlike before where everything was just everywhere and uh, you can see that um, pretty much everything will be fitting and I will still be having extra and sparse uh, places to actually do a proper pantry um, organization and arrangement and uh, that is something I am looking forward to sharing with you uh, in the near future.
uh, guys what is there not to like the pantry has actually turned out to be more than i expected and uh, with that little space i still um, managed to have a proper full pantry which yeah uh, will be serving me in many years to come so yeah i do hope you enjoyed this one and please remember to like comment subscribe and uh, continue uh, with me in this journey and uh, i do hope to see you in the next one so until next time which uh, i'm hoping is not too long while well, i'll be sharing with you uh, my kitchen uh, renovation the finished touches and uh, i do hope you will enjoy and you will come back again so for now i will say uh, bye and uh, do enjoy your day